first off, I mean, thank you for joining me. This has kind of become a movement, and obviously R.C. Bishop wouldn't be where he is without the ladies backing him up. Mom, um, my mother, <laughs> First Lady Lisa, tell me a little bit about your experience in seeing how this movement has kind of swept the nation. The Queenology movement, and it really stemming from the father-daughter talk um, where it was birthed from my husband, it's just gone beyond what we could ever expect it to go. It started off um, 2014, we had our first conference, Father Dog Talk Conference, and it was good. And so this year, he came back with Queenology, and what has transpired so far, and we're not even finished yet, has been um, unexplainable. It's beyond words. I am, the ladies are me, catch, grabbing me in the hallway and literally breaking down because what God is already doing in their lives and the liberty they're feeling. The mother who birthed the child, who birthed the Queenology <laughs> movement. <laughs> Talk a little bit about seeing your son in this vein and how he has kind of unearthed so much in so many strong women already and kind of made them stronger about themselves. Well, you know, seeing your son or your child grow up from a little person and being that little naughty child mm -hmm. that's into everything and then to become the man that he has become. I see his father in him. Uh, his father was just like he is. He was a go-getter and he didn't stop at anything. He had ideas, ideas, and he lived beyond his time. And I really know that God gave him this vision about women because down through the years, women have been so hurt, they've been so abused, and so neglected, really. And this movement is right on time. It's what, what the ladies need right now. I saw women coming here hurting, crying, and now they're talking about what God has done, how they feel now, the deliverance that has taken place. And it's all God. And talk maybe just a little bit about the session you had, because I said it oh, on your yeah. Princessology, you had a very intimate, a uh, closed circle session, you mm -hmm. wanted, to, wanted it to be just young ladies. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think the impact was? Do you feel like they connected yeah. with you? I just moved, I think, in the session, and the girls were initially, you know, kind of, they, it took them a minute to warm up, mm -hmm. but they mm -hmm. were very receptive, and mm -hmm. even more receptive than I thought they were, because yeah. I've had people come up to me afterwards like, oh my gosh, my daughter wouldn't stop talking about your session. She, she said you have so much in common. I can just see, you know, you can see the transformation in mm -hmm. some of those girls, and that means a lot to me. Any last words y'all want to share? There are women all over the world, not just in the United States, not just in Texas and Louisiana, but all over the world that need this type of ministry. I mean, this, these ladies, along with hundreds of others, have literally become my, my family. Many of them consider themselves my daughters, and I consider myself their father. For people who have not been following this movement, talk about Queenology. What is the impact it's having in women's lives? It's, uh, it's my perspective as a man and as a father on what a woman needs to understand relative to her true status in life. Uh, and I believe that all women are queens, most are just unconscious. And so Queenology is our way of introducing a woman to her, uh, the reality that she is royalty. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what her past has afforded her or drained her of, or what society says, what statistics might say she should or should not be. The reality is that every woman is a queen, and I want to awaken as many as I possibly can to that reality. I mean, we have at this conference uh, this year women from, I mean, more states than I can even articulate, literally, from Seattle, from Wisconsin, Massachusetts, they're from all over the country. So the impact we cannot argue with. I am committed to continuing this, you know, as long as the impact is still there. And I, I can still hear people, hear women say, my life has changed, I've made better choices. There are a lot of women who say that they were broken. Yeah. Uh, didn't realize that they were broken. Um, what are some of the most impactful stories you've heard from women that may have touched you? I've, ha I've had women who uh, were in, a, in there right now, actually. Uh, who, who've come out of physically abusive relationships that they have been imprisoned by for years, um, beaten to the point of almost death, but were so broken in terms of their self-consciousness that they kept going back. 
And something as simple as me sitting on YouTube and uh, teaching something called the father-daughter talk, everything a woman should have heard from a father, shifted something in this woman's self-perspective to the point that she ended that relationship and is now in a safe place. The one thing I will say is that every, every woman um, at some point in time has to take a step back and uh, discover herself. Individuality is a lost art. Nobody, nobody knows how to be an individual anymore. We know how to be a group, we, we know how to be a couple, even if that's a dysfunctional couple, but most do not know how to be an individual. And if a woman embraces her individuality, it is in the quietness of that individuality that many of the things that I teach will be revealed to her by the Spirit of God who's within her. It's within that quietness that she will get a revelation of herself and a perspective, a perspective that will empower her to make the right choices relative to her own future. You talked a little bit about um, kind of getting out of your comfort zone, coming here to Houston, away from New Orleans, wow. where you had the father-daughter talk, coming here to do Queenology, and you kind of broke some news on your social media this week about launching this a little further. Let's talk about the next steps and um, where this is going. I'm almost scared to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to happen. I mean, it's, you're going to get people who want to hear this and want to bring it to where they are. It's so. going to happen. I have a vision to bring this whole Queenology movement nationally to major cities. New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, uh, Atlanta, Miami, uh, Detroit. I want to bring this movement to major cities. So I'm, I'm really now in the process of talking with all of the persons involved and, and uh, strategizing as it pertains to how we're going to do it. That's a big undertaking. But I just feel I'm carried by the, the wave, you know, by the, by the tide or whatever you call it. I, I, I just feel this is the time. I feel like it's, it's the right thing to do. Talk about kind of what made you want to bring this to the next level. You talked a little bit about it today. So many things I could say, but the main thing is, doesn't matter what your history looks like, your destiny is still brilliant. There's a reason the rearview mirror is smaller than the windshield. You should spend less time looking in the past, what's behind you, and more time looking at what's in front of you. And you can get down. Hi, my name is Alisa Tyler. I'm from Ohio, Northeast Ohio area. And I am just so happy to be here and to be a part of my first Queenology conference with Pastor Blakes and Lady Blakes. The two of them have truly changed my life. Um, I just actually recently found him on YouTube. I was going through YouTube, just looking for stuff. I had been in a relationship, just different cycles and all that. And after hearing those messages, the chain was broken. I was able to just really move forward um, and recognize the queen that I am and recognize you know, who I am and whose I am, because I, I had forgot. But um, now I, re I know exactly who I am. I am a queen. I am um, perfectly um, handcrafted by God, his original design. And I am just so blessed to see what else God has in store as I continue this journey of queenology. Thank you. Oh, my name is Fawn Kretschmann. I'm from South Dakota, originally from Indiana. And I learned of R.C. Blakes because I discovered him by accident on YouTube. And I began watching his information and I realized that this was a, a movement that began with his book, The Father-Daughter Talk. And I realized what a void that his message is fill, filling for women um, all across really the world, not just in America, because women really struggle, uh, particularly those who have a void of a father figure in their lives. And I think that R.C. has really become a spiritual father to countless women. and. Um, countless women are really indebted to him for speaking wisdom and life 
and empowerment into their lives. Glad to be here. We've been following him for a while and I'm just so excited and glad. Yes, we all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, and we love R.C. Blakes and God, what he's doing in him. We are queens, and we are looking forward to a wonderful night with R.C. Blakes and Lisa. Thanks for having us, Tennessee. So tell me about your experience so far, first night. It's been great. I'm very thankful to be here tonight. Um, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. My name is Lakisa, and I've been following pastor since October 2015. And the energy has been great. Um, Bishop is a navigator for us in this time in our lives. Um, no matter if you're single, married, divorced, um, you know, with children, without. So we're very thankful for his obedience to um, the Lord and that he is helping us, prepare us to be better. And we should share this information with everybody, everybody right? so that's the main thing right. sharing this information because right. it's great information right. what's the one thing you're looking to get out of this experience this weekend you know what just moving forward in this next chapter of my life um, and really defining my purpose beyond what I do and what I believe the Lord is leading me so just having more clarity in that because I feel like I'm going into my own right. next chapter so yes yeah. Thank you. Welcome to Queenology ATL. So tell me about what you think about this weekend so far. Oh, this weekend has been fabulous. This is just a, a God-filled, spirit-filled weekend. I mean, I can just feel the presence of God here. And I really believe, the, believe that there's still going to be bondages broken. Just people are going to be anointed by God with this message to take back to people that are hurting. There's going to be a lot of wounds that are going to be healed. Um, I can just feel the spirit here. So what it's just been awesome. Um, I was hurting at a time, and I was praying and I found R.C. Blake's and the very first message was about um, demonic soul ties and the, the healing and I was like God sent that to me and I started watching him and I found Queenology right after that. God said I needed to be here. I signed up. I got one of the last tickets and I said I'm driving. I came from Illinois and I was like I'm going to drive and I've never done that before by myself but I knew that God wanted me here to get this message so oh, yes. we're happy to have you. thank you thank, thank you, you. Um, brought you here what, are you excited um ex look i'm more than excited <laughs> to be perfectly honest uh first of all i get a trip to atlanta right, <laughs> right? and then i get to be with all these beautiful queens um to share to hear and to be imparted into so that's you know for me is really listening to bishop learning something new about me as a woman and like i said in there um just really gleaning on how he treats his right, queen right. so that I can see what I need in my right, king. Right, exactly. <laughs> That's me. So what is the one thing you're looking to learn or to gain from this weekend? Honestly, I'm just here to listen. Um, I don't know what I want to learn, mm -hmm. is, but what I do know is I'm open to whatever God has for me. And so I think because I've already prayed before I got here, whatever he drops that I know I need, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like an epiphany or an aha moment for right, me. Right. So who knows, but I'm open. Good. I'm receptive. Well, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. you. So what brings you here this weekend? What brought you here? How did you find out about it? Well, it was dropped on. Somebody gave me a video. And six, seven months ago, I was just, my heart was open. And I was going through a lot of things, and God was just really working on me, and it was given to me at the right time. Wow. And I've been following him ever since, and it has literally changed my life. Wow. It ha I've, I've gotten rid of people that are toxic, relationships, friends. It's just opened my life up and my heart tremendously. It's been a blessing to me. Awesome. It's changed so my life. What is the one thing you think you're going to gain from this experience, or you're hoping to gain from this experience this weekend? Wow. I don't know if I can say it's just one thing, but the thing that stands out is, is empowerment to follow what I set myself to do and follow through with it. Right. And um, I think that's the one thing that principles to live by, develop and, and finding my purpose because being that all those negative aspects were in my life. I couldn't find my purpose, right. and so once right. I let all of that go, my purpose just whoosh right. in my spirit. Change, life change, wow. six to seven months. Wow! Well, congratulations. What Thank you. Happy? Thank you so much, Marsha. Welcome to Queenology ATL. Yes. You're not new to Queenology, we know, but you're here this weekend. Yes. 
So what brought you here this weekend? It was an opportunity to reconnect with the sisters that I miss tremendously. Um, the first swim, Sisters Winning in Ministry, was the eye-opening. Um, I have grown significantly, spiritually, emotionally, professionally. The only thing that started that was this movement. Um, and I have I've have a bond with these women here that I miss literally when I'm right, apart from right. them. Isn't and I like look forward like to every time that I get to see them. Um, there's a group of women here. This room is surrounded by women that are like-minded and they force me to level up. You're one of them. I know, you're one of mine. No, you're one of mine. <laughs> you know, so I'm really thankful for that, you know, because you can't always get that. And I, you know, there's a saying, if you're the smartest person in the room, you need to find a new room. Right. I love not being that and being around women like you and Sheeta and so many more um, that really just push me spiritually, emotionally, professionally. Um, and, and I can't, you can't pay for this mm -hmm. kind of experience. You really can't. You can't, exp you can't pay for it. And this is just, you, you leave here full. You leave here overflowing. I think the world can drain us. Mm -hmm. um, the world can try to empty us. We give so much to our family, to our, our, our employers, um, employees. Right. We, we do. And then we end up empty, frustrated. Come here. You leave here full. You leave here replenished. Right. So I'm always thankful for Bishop Blakes, First Lady Blakes, both you and Rashika and so many more ladies, um, because this is the best experience of my life. I think we can both say the testament that the sisterhood that's built here is genuine. It is genuine. You know, you can, you can, you know I, would, I would be able to share anything with any of you guys mm -hmm. and feel like you would never leave the room. It's a safe get place. Some honest, true feedback. Yes. Because there's no hard bar. We're not going to yes. punch it with you. Yes. Sugarcoat Yes. Um, what's the one thing that you think you're going to get out of this movement that makes wow. you you know, I'm always a student. Mm -hmm. Even if I can't relate to the subject that's going on, I'm a student of the subject. Perhaps I will be able to share this experience with someone else. I can redirect that person to this movement, to this ministry, because of something that I've learned, retained, to, to take notes on. Um, but if I can't, e if I can't relate, even that's fine. I can learn it as well um, and still be able to share. Yeah. I'm so happy to see you. You know, we're going to chit chat later. Yes, we are. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. My name's Michelle Brown. I'm from London. I'm an IT consultant. Um, what can I say? Um, the message that I receive from RC Blakes, and I feel like the information that I'm receiving from him is that of truth, it's from the heart, and it's real. Hi everyone, my name is Millicent Dampari. I am from Toronto, Canada. And I'm um, so excited to be here. Um, first time in Atlanta as well. Um, and I have a close girlfriend that's here and that I've been wanting to come see. But the focus of this trip was to come to the Queenology Conference. I have been listening to quite a few of the YouTube clips um, and hearing Pastor R.C. Blake's. And, you know, I just think in terms of the messaging overall is just that as women, and as we sort of grow and evolve, I think our focus is to just try to uplift and encourage each other, try to empower one another, and most importantly, really try to impact the next generation because we really, really, really want them to feel worthy and just amazing and just to create sort of the next generation of just women empowerment. So I'm excited to be here. I have met a few faces. And interesting enough, sorry, just a little tidbit, when I went to book my trip, um, the tickets were sold out. And so I said, okay, you know what, God, like I know I'm supposed to be in Atlanta, so let's just find a way. So I called the office and I spoke with um, one of the assistants. And so she kindly said, oh, you know, I'm gonna get back to you in a few days. 
So I waited. I'm like, okay, let me wait. And then I called back in two days. And she said, you know what? Actually, the pastor opened up some tickets on Saturday. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm supposed to be here. So I booked it. And I originally didn't have a ticket for the Friday night. And then this lovely lady, Iva, who I met earlier today, was like, you know, my spirit is just bringing me over to you. You know, did you want to come and attend the Queenology conference on the Friday? I didn't have a ticket for this evening. So just thankful. And I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you. My name is Sean, and I'm here with my girlfriend, Tracy. We are from the Bay Area in California. And I'll, I can only speak for myself, but um, somebody dropped Pastor R.C. Blake's in my life about six months ago, and it was really God sent, God given, because at the time, I was in a low place, and God was really opening my eyes to a new me. I had to get rid of some fake friends. I had to get rid of some family members so I can grow. And it was very, very hard in this man right here and watching him. Every couple of days I'm looking for a video. I'm like, oh, I need, I need a video. Where's the video? And he just dropped, just there. Very empower, empowering and encouraging and what I needed in my life. And I say in the last six to seven months, I have grown. My business has grown, my life has grown. And it's just a bust. Hi, my name is Fawn Kretschman. I'm originally from Indiana. I'm a Southern Indiana girl, so is my friend Portia. <laughs> I literally discovered R.C. Blake's completely by accident on YouTube. And after listening for the first five minutes, I'm like, if only, if uh, I'm 55, we have six children, four boys, two girls, and I was just struck with this one thought, repetitive thought, if only somebody had spoke these words into my life when I was 20. <laughs> the heartache because of destructive relationships that somehow I was mag magnetically attracting into my life and how the enemy worked to steal my destiny. <laughs> but nothing is wasted. And the devil is going to regret the day he ever messed with us. <laughs> because what he has tried to use against us, God will make for good and will turn it around. And the enemy will regret the day 
Yes, and we'll have to repay sevenfold. So the more I listened, the more I realized this is a movement. Women have lost their way, and God is using Pastor Blake's in a very powerful way to restore, to restore what was lost. Yeah. I am April Guy from the great state of Ohio. Where are all the Ohio people at? There's some more Ohio people. We Ohio people travel. <laughs> but I just, I am so blessed and honored and thankful for you and your beautiful wife for being obedient to what God has told you to do. Somebody said, what our experiences are not for us, they're for us to give away for other people. And for my life, It's only the beginning, and the devil is a liar. And I am just so thankful that I stumbled upon you one day. I, I don't even remember what I was looking for, but the first video that I saw, I was captivated. And I was like, God, this is for me. And, and it's, it's a process, and, you know, you, you hear and you walk it out and it, it's just a process. He was listening to the video, you know, you've been pimped and he looks, he looks at you, you've been pimped. I'm like, no, not, not. He says it again, you've been pimped. I'm like, what, I have? I think, I, and then I went home and you've been pimped. I'm like, I'm mad. And I'm like, you're not pimping me. No, you're not, you're not pimping me. So I go and I'm going home and I'm like, that is it. I am out and, you know, learn to let people go though if they're not being valued. I listened to the video of you two and he said, you move on, I'm not getting married. And you're like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, look at that, she bounced, I love it. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it too. So it gave me strength. And it also, when you said readjust that crown and I'm, we're all queens, we just sometimes don't know it. And I'm like, I'm a queen. I'm a queen, yes. So this has been wonderful, and I'm so, so glad to have the opportunity to listen to your videos. and They've been very inspirational. Thank you. I'm from Houston, Texas. Woo! Okay, so my name is Ashley Morgan. Um, I started following Bishop Blake's back, back when he was walking through the neighborhood, giving his messages, like, back, back when, you know? And at the time, of course, you know, it was just like, wow, wow. You know, it was just so enlightening and so many things that he was saying. It was just like, there's actually a man out here that thinks like this. Like, you know, because as women, we have those thoughts, but it's like we're out here in this world alone. You know, they say men are from wherever and we're from, I believe it. So, so following Pastor Blake's has been so, 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 so op uh, mind opening and self awareness. It's been so many things for me. If I told y'all how I almost didn't make it, I'd bust out crying. So I want to thank First Lady Lisa for making it possible. Um, I actually probably been stalking him for a little while. I, I popped up at their church in Houston a couple of times, and I love what he brings and I just thank God for the awareness for the love the dedication the obedience and everything that God is doing with you and for us we just I, I thank you thank you thank you and I'm from Atlanta hi everybody well I'm from Baltimore but I live in Atlanta um, and I just need to say you know something about meeting a condition because um, Pastor Blakes came up in my YouTube feed and um, I seen him and I was like, oh, here's another man trying to tell a woman what she need to do and why she ain't got a man. <laughs> and um, I just went on past it. But I hadn't meant the condition. But when I was on my knees 
and I was at that fork in the road, I know I was divinely led to hit that button. And you literally, through your word, through God's word, saved my life. I believe that. It's, it's just no doubt in my mind. I have to say that. Thank you, God, that once I met the condition, he had the word that I needed there. Thank you. Thank you both. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tanya Sproles. I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. Do we have any Razorback fans? Bill Clinton. <laughs> so um, I just want to thank Pastor and, and First Lady Blakes for just having this vision to have the Queenology Conferences. This is changing the lives of many women around the, the world, and we really are very grateful. But I tell you, I came across, you know, I kind of like so many of you all in here, I stumbled across, but although I believe it was divine intervention that led me to the videos, to say that they've changed my life is an understatement. I tell you, I mean, it came in, they came into my life at a time when I was at an all-time low. But here's the good news. Now, I'm at an all-time high. Yeah. I've never been more confident in myself. I've never had more courage than I have at this time in my life because it's like those videos have just released something in me. They peeled back some layers of hurt and pain and, and those things that make you feel like you can't, you're not enough. I tell you, I, that's, the, that's a distant memory for me now. That's a distant memory. And this being here tonight is just confirmation that I'm moving in the right direction. And I'm praying that I will be an inspiration to even my, my five-year-old grandbaby. I try to show, my grandbaby says, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> <Y 'all are laughs> you see that? <laughs> I love when he opens up the videos, hello, hello, hello. This is R.C. Blakes Jr. I love it. <laughs> and my grandbaby says, and my daughter, and I mean, I'm just trying to spread the good news of what you're sharing with us, even to my five-year-old grandbaby. It's not too early to start to helping her to understand the power that she has, the queen that she is. And I, I can't say thank you enough. I don't want to take up too much time, but thank you all so much for having this vision and for, for fulfilling it and for leading so many women and so many people, not just women, but men. And you know, just many, many people are being freed because of these, these videos, these conferences. It's just awesome and thank you all so much. I followed or I had him as a friend on Facebook, but I was the girl that did not like celebrity preachers. And so I followed by name, but I never followed his teaching. And it was not until last year that I came to convocation and I saw the man and I saw the genuineness and I saw how he treated his woman. And I looked at him and said, I like him. And so he makes Queenology authentic by the way he treats his queen. So if we want anything out of this, we need to look at how he treats his queen and say we want that in our king. And I'm done. Where's that week? Which speaks to your what? Independence. I am capable and I am motivated to trust God and to be the source for my life and its necessities. I will not beg or plead with inferiors to do for me what I can do for myself. I am self-sufficient. Self-projection, which speaks to your confidence. I will never be invisible in any space because I have presence. I make a statement without ever saying a word. I will assert myself whenever necessary and will leave my mark. And then number five is self-actualization, which is the manifestation of you. 
I will not bring the value and gifts that God has given me to the grave. Every vision, dream, and or ambition will be manifested. I am becoming more. So that's what we're going we're gonna to spend hours working our way through the five tenets of Queenology tomorrow. So we gave y'all that big old pad with all that paper in it for a reason. And you just look cute. So, oh, they used to teach something called shorthand. I don't know if they teach that anymore. You're going to need some shorthand tomorrow, praise the Lord. So I love you all. Thank you for being here. You'll have even more sisters with you tomorrow. Uh, but I'm just in awe of your presence tonight. I'm also thankful that we have international presence I'm also thankful that um, this message has transcended race. Watch this. When I initially wrote this book, The Father-Daughter Talk, which is the beginnings of this, I thought I was writing this book to a young black female between the ages of 18, maybe to 30. To my amazement, the book transcends age, it transcends race, it transcends religious dogma. There are Muslim women in the Middle East who, who read and who are following what we're teaching. And so I'm just sitting here tonight and I'm amazed because this is nobody but God. And, and on that note, I want to say thank you to my wife, Thank you to my wife. If, if my wife would not allow me to do this, I couldn't do it.